guys welcome to my next vlog um, I've got like a staycation happening in Melbourne down on the peninsula over the next week a little bit over a week um, so today is like full day one I suppose uh, and we're going to the Melbourne Museum I've not been here in so long so and Chris has never been here so let's go let's go check out museum this is a skeleton of a blue whale and they say at one time they their numbers were estimated to be in like 200,000 area now 2,000 people in the back for scale look at that strong hand so apparently this is a t-rex um it's a lot smaller than i thought but chris just said maybe it was like an adolescent which makes sense this is really cool on the ground they have these like um mock uh, archaeology dig sites thank you come on brain Guys, look at the little baby. How adorable. Look at it. It's so cute. Oh, I like it. Could be friends with Freya, right? Okay, we've come into the bug section, which is, it's beautiful. We can't deny that. Stunning. Um, look at these. Some of them are so cool. You know what this reminds me of? Jewelry boxes. Look at these guys. They're so sparkly. Ew. The bigger they are, the creepier they are. Look at these little guys. I assume these are moths, but look at them. Huge, absolutely huge. Wow. Okay, I've started to get creeped out. I've seen some things that are creepy, but look at these. These um, leafy, don't, Chris. <laughs> the, there's spiders here and I, ugh, they freak me out. Um, these are a little bit creepy as well. We've got like stick insects and stuff. There's a leafy, uh, what are they called? The leafy stick insects. But look at the wings on it. Wow. I would have an absolute fit if I saw something like this in real life. I would, I would freak the fuck out. Um, look at these tiny little flies. Hang on, where's my finger for reference? Look at them. Actually, I think they're technically bees, aren't they? They're wasps. Ugh! Wasps, bees, bees and ants. Oh, okay. Look at these beautiful things. They're blue! Stunning! That's disgusting! These are fucking frightening. I can't, I can't get over this. Dragonflies. Love dragonflies. Cockroaches. Sorry, guys. I know some people aren't really a fan of the cockroaches. And here's some spiders for you. Okay. There's scorpions in there as well, which don't freak me out as much. But... I have to admit, the way they're laid out really allows you to like get up close and look at them. I mean, that could be an eyeshadow palette right there. These are really, really beautiful. The beetles. Wow, look at them. 
That's stunning. On the, on the oh, wow. Okay, these guys are cool. Yeah, up the back there. Wow, all right. And there's one guy right here. Oh, cockroaches. <laughs> Disgusting. There's some at the back there and there's one back there. I don't like cockroaches. They're not very nice. Um, and then we have dung beetles and their, their droppings that they like to collect. Oh my god. Wow. Can you see it, baby? Can you see it, baby? Yes, I can see it. Thank you. <laughs> oh, this is my favorite. There we go. I love praying mantis. Um, and look, look, here's a really big one. Can you guys see him? He's beautiful. Hanging upside down there. Rainforest mantis. Wow. Uh, the snail is at the back there. Oh yeah, there is too. Obvious leaf insect is obvious. <laughs> it's this guy here. And he's right there. He's great. This is like my worst nightmare. <laughs> Somewhere in there, there's a spider. No, thank God. <laughs> I don't really want to, but also I feel like I should show you guys. <laughs> oh my God, it's so hairy. <laughs> There's a glare, but he's in there and he's hairy. Yeah. Okay, this is a Mexican red kneed tarantula. He's at the back there. <laughs> And we've been trying to find this guy, which is a Brazilian salmon pink tarantula. I reckon it's under a rock or something. Yeah. It's okay, I don't need to see it. The bugs were very interesting. Did you like the bugs? I like the bugs. I like the bugs. There were so many screaming children in there though. Um, we're gonna check out the Triceratops. So this is meant to be, I think, the most complete um, specimen of Triceratops in the world, I think. I think, we'll go find out. The size of this thing is like, it's just blowing my mind. I'm feeling very insignificant as a human being at the moment. Oh God, look at the teeth on that thing. No ma'am, nah, nah, I'm going. I <laughs> Don't be. <fit. laughs> yeah. There we go. Guys, I love the miniature stuff. How cute is this? So, butcher shop after 1966. I do want a coffee. What you find? Oh, stop it. The original pop up coffee card. Oh, adorable. Absolutely adorable. So this exhibition is to show things from like different time periods that obviously we don't have replicas of, so, or the original items. So they're done to a one to 10 scale for the most part. Um, some of them are a bit different, obviously. 
but they're cute and you can still find these. They're still around. They're saying to year 2000, but I know they still exist. Guys, how's this for a doll's house? I love it. I really want that. I'm not even joking. I want it. It's so cool. This is meant to be the Port Phillip Quartz Mine. They're great little models. I love them. Super fun. This is Farlap. He was one of Australia's best racehorses. He was poisoned because he was too good. Okay, so we've come into, it's like a little, um, I guess so like, you know, replica houses. Um, yeah, pause it if you want to read, but I'm going to have a little look soon. A little privacy please. <laughs> Oh my god, guys, can't take him anywhere. <laughs> He's got all the jokes today. <laughs> all of them. What's in there? Bedroom. Oh yeah. What is up with the shape of that bed? Uh, it's probably amazing. It's room. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, wait. Wait, what? steaks and drinks for lunch, a late lunch. I went with a Bloody Mary. Chris got an XPA and hot sauce on his chili steak. Is it good? Delicious. It tastes amazing. Hochi Mama for dinner and I've never been here before but I've wanted to come for ages and this one is a perfect excuse and he's currently trying to feed me <laughs> um, the cocktails and the food fucking outstanding amazing yum 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 if you're in Melbourne make a reservation for Hochi Mama and come here and enjoy yourself yum Melbourne staycation day three technically um, we're actually on a winery tour down in the Yarra Valley which is a beautiful place to uh, visit if you're ever in Melbourne and you want to do a winery tour my recommendation would always be the Yarra Valley because the, the land is so beautiful like just look at this it's stunning um, so we've just come to Helen and Joey's. I bought myself a glass because, like a wine glass, um, because they were cute. And we're going to jump in the bus and then guess the value or how much this grass unicorn cost uh, to have it imported here. 
My guess is going to be $86,000. We'll see. They've got sheep grazing in their um, in their vineyard. Oh my god, I want to take a sheep home. That's okay. Oh, it's a vibe, guys. I fucking love it here. We are at uh, Yering Farms, and it's beautiful. I've been here before. Um, the grounds are stunning. The sheep are ready to pop their lambs. There is a beautiful Labrador here. There is wonderful wine and even better cider. I'm not even going to lie. Last time I came here... I bought a case of 24 and I split it with Brian. I think I still have one at home. Um, it is best served chilled, but uh, these guys, I mean, if you're into wine, they sell online, so there you go. Um, I think I'm gonna take a bottle of this one home. Yeah, so this is like a, um, naturally sparkling essentially so the way it's created um, creates bubbles in the bottle I'm gonna take one home to share with the friends because you know you don't go on a winery tour and not buy wine my phone's gonna die so I'm gonna have to stop filming We've come to uh, Four Pillars Gin Distillery. So we're gonna have a drink here. Are you having fun? So, it's been a great day. Come to the Yarra Valley for a winery tour. It's amazing. We're going to Shandon after this. If I can get a shot, I will, but my drink's gonna die. Are we on?